Drop that gun. What? Drop that gun and sit down. What the hell are you talking about? Sit down. A punk. And a pretty second-rate punk at that. Don't listen to him, General. It's a bluff. Keep quiet. He's an assassin. A member of the American intelligence organization known as OSS. His job is to shoot you, Colonel Kramer, and you, General Rosemeyer. Now, General, they are, of course, members of MI6. That's a lie. I love that. He's so outraged. Let him finish! <laughs> That's Let another great go. line. Let him finish! <laughs> That's another lie. You can't prove any of this. Can't I? Any denials, Lieutenant? Well, it's, it's incredible. Yes. But to the British, very, very simple. You were going to give us some proof of who you are. Just if I'm not who I say I am, what am I doing here? What can I possibly hope to gain? The rescue of an imposter, the exposure of three spies. Who to? To the very people they're supposed to be working for. I have nothing to gain. Also, if these people are what they say... Smith they are, is so smart, the, the breakdown. Be, what do I have to gain if I'm not who I say I am? It wasn't necessary or safe for us to know where our orders were coming from. He's at his wit's end. <laughs> I know his name and you don't. <laughs> that is Schmidt, no question about it. Good night. That fake smile on the phone too. Give me the water. Give me the water. It's just little things like that that uh, make it better. I don't doubt who Schmidt is, but there has been some mistake. Yes, you're the ones who've made it. Good night. <laughs> Why is he just clued on to something? That's why I'm like, just as soon as he lets it go, um, he's like, mm, now there must be something afoot. The most tense exam you've ever written. Look at them, look at their faces. They're just like, oh, we better get this right or we're dead. <laughs> but yeah, and the music as well is just like, nah, nah, nah. See the secret plan they've got going on. I compare it with my original. <laughs> look at him, look at look at the lip trembling. He's like mm. <laughs> this is my favorite bit almost because he's just so horrified. <laughs> Just relax. Second rate punk, huh? All I could think of on the spur of the moment. Thanks, that even makes it worse. This is all you want? Those books. Lots of nice names and addresses. They're so stressed because they gave it to him on a platter. Then they are who they claim to be. I'm afraid so. Stay where you are! <laughs> This guy, he had to clock on to stuff. Like, he couldn't just leave it alone. Everyone to keep perfectly still. Drop your gun, Major. Look at the flick of the wrist. Thank God you're here, Major. We were just about to go Sit down, Colonel! Sit down, Colonel! Gotta love that bit. Everybody remain as he is. This is preposterous! Shanghai! Sit down. The list in his pocket are the names of German agents working in Britain! German agents working in Britain! <laughs> He's so passionate. He's so passionate about everything he says. It's just hilarious to me how passionate this guy is. Bring some here. Smith. Assassin Schaefer to the rescue. I love Assassin Schaefer, he's incredible. Heartless best. Stand over there. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Smith, with the orders again. Put your hands up. <laughs> Oh, he's brilliant. I love Richard Burton. Next 15 minutes, we have to create enough confusion to get out of here alive. Major, right now, you got me about as confused as I ever hoped to be. Let me make myself perfectly understood. 
if any of you utters a word, I'll kill you all. Do you understand? <laughs> He's moving like a dictator. Got laid down the law. If any of you so utters a word, I'll kill you all. Straight up and down. That's a classic line. Here yeah, we got explosives again. Nice little trap there. Hello? Him. Assassin Schaefer back at it again. I can tell they don't want to really kill him, but they have to. The guy is just the radio guy, but he's got to die. He can't spare anyone in the game of war. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. I just feel like they're taking the mic. They got loads of soldiers already. And then this guy wants to take out the big cannon machine gun and just try and blast him. There's two of them. All's fair in war, but still, it's just the real dirty. Broadsword All sins forgiven. The old grenade trick. Perfectly timed. Get up. Climb out. Get on with it. <laughs> Get on with it. Making him plug to his death. Oh, it's such a thing of beauty. They set this guy up for the ultimate failure. Look, they just see the rope and they're like, all right, they must have got out the window. Look at the way he dies, look at the way he dies, he's just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you little traitor. <laughs> Lieutenant, get the rope. Again, Smith with the orders, <laughs> he's non-stop. I love the way the fake actor general is just playing his position perfectly. Ah, you gotta love it when a plan comes together. Look at that. <laughs> Mary, bring him out here. Get hold of the rope and climb down. Get hold of the rope and climb down. Climb down! No, this guy is a pagan. Like, look at him. He, he looks up and he's like, oh, it's too high. So he goes, oh, you go up there instead. <laughs> the cowardice on these guys knows no bounds. Yeah, swing that axe. Swing, swing that and have that. Oh, and a lovely boot to the face. <laughs> yes, right in the arm. I love it when things go well. An excellent release. This guy's crazy on some reckless action hero type business. This is when your hard work and dedication pay off. that hero shot of Burton. Final hurrah, the last kill before he gets on the plane. Assuming for a moment you're finished, Colonel. We mustn't cheat the hangman. Do me a favor, will you? Next time you have one of these things, keep it an all British operation. It's a great film, you gotta watch it. Okay, that's the movie. I'm made in 1968, I was wrong, not 1950 something. Yeah, it's a good movie, it's like action, Mystery, still one of my favorite movies. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. See you on the next one.